My name is Anitza, and I'm a mom here in Denver, Colorado. Hi, Anitza. I'm Emily, and I'm one of the founding members of Science Moms, and I study wildfires and their impacts on us. It's so nice to meet you. Thank you for taking my questions. I have four kids. What are their ages? 11, 9, 7, and 5. So they're all elementary school age, and they're all, they're all learning a ton, too. So then they come home with information, and I'm like, Mommy doesn't know what you're talking about. I'm so sorry. So you can ask me anything about fires and climate. Uh, so in the 13 years I've been here, it seems like the wildfires over summer are getting bigger and stronger. Is that true? Yes. <laughs> so the number of large fires in the West is getting larger, and there is a direct connection to climate change. So as we heat up the Western US, things get drier. And you can imagine that if you toss a match into dry grass, that's very different than tossing that match into wet grass. So climate change is making our fires burn hotter, last longer, start earlier, and end later. Scary. Could you give me an exact definition of what climate change is? Sure. Climate change is caused by the burning of fossil fuels. When we burn fossil fuels, we emit greenhouse gases. Those greenhouse gases build up in the atmosphere over time. That blanket of gases thickens, and that thick blanket traps heat from the earth. And so that trapping of heat is what causes the temperatures to rise. 99% of scientists agree that climate change is real and happening now. Oh gosh, wow. How do you feel as a scientist when you see new wildfires popping up? Anxious. I feel very anxious when I see a new wildfire. I worry for the firefighters, I worry for the communities that are there, and I worry for all the kids who are going to breathe the smoke downwind. So I feel anxious. <laughs> and then I also feel this like very deep sadness because I don't see a wildfire as an individual event anymore. I see it as part of a very large pattern of climate change in the Western US. And so that for me is a very heavy feeling. Oh my gosh. Sometimes it gets so overwhelming that I say, okay, well, forget it. It is such a big problem. I don't really know what to do. And then I kind of just like stick my head in the sand a little bit and I know I can't anymore. Yes. So we can't stick our heads in the sand because we have small children. All these environmental issues, right? It's easy to confuse them. But climate change is about burning fossil fuels. It's about our energy system. That's it. The way forward is toward energy production that does not use fossil fuels. What can we do to help with climate change? So you can do a lot at the local level too with climate change. Ask your utility company, ask your leaders, how are you shifting to clean energy? Okay, so it's up to us to kind of put the pressure on. Yes, put that pressure on. That is exactly what I'm saying. Talk about the problem. And that seems like a small thing, but it's, it's actually a really important thing because the more we talk about it, the more the sense of urgency will be raised. And this is getting very, very urgent. We just really are running out of time and we need changes in the next 15 years. How can I start the conversation? Or should I, should I be starting it? Should I just be waiting for opportunities when I hear people make comments? Or how, how do you handle that? Oh, I handle it in lots of different ways. So I just got a new e-bike. So <laughs> I tell everybody about my new e-bike. So that's one way I talk about it. Um, when people here in Colorado ask me how I'm doing and it's a hazy day like we're experiencing today and that haze is from wildfire smoke, I give them a genuine answer about how I feel about the smoke and that that smoke has a climate component to it. There are a lot of people in the Western US right now that are stressed about either extreme heat or this persistent smoke. And so any time that people are talking about the heat or the smoke is a great time to bring in climate change. Doctor, I really appreciate all your time and information. I learned a ton of things and I thank you so much. I really appreciate it. No problem, anytime. Nice okay. to meet you and I'll talk nice to you soon. You. Bye. Okay, bye.